Global temperatures are said to be getting closer to a climate tipping point. The UN says that the world may heat up by 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels in the next five years. And that's seen by scientists as the threshold to avoid the most catastrophic effects of climate change. UN experts believe that there is a 40% chance of that happening from this year up to 2025. Now, that's up from the previous prediction of 20%. And that would push global temperatures temporarily past the limit set by the Paris Climate Accord, which is measured over a 30-year period. Last year was already one of the warmest on record, hitting 1.2 degrees above the pre-industrial baseline. It's expected to get warmer each year until 2025, and all regions will be affected. The UN says that this should be seen as yet another wake-up call for the world to slash greenhouse gas emissions. Ahead of the COP26 UN Climate Summit in November, several countries have already set goals to reach net zero carbon targets. For a closer look, we're joined now by Professor Leslie Hughes from Macquarie University. Professor Hughes, every year from 2021 through to 2025, we're likely to see at least one degree Celsius warmer. What effects will that be in terms of how we feel in our everyday lives? Well, we'll be starting to see even more extreme uh, heat waves as we have been doing in the last few years, which uh, kill um, tens of thousands of people each year. In places like where I am in Australia, we'll be starting to see even more uh, uh, bushfires, out of control bushfires, as we had two summers ago, which were unprecedented. Um, the Melting of sea ice in the Arctic and the Antarctic will keep accelerating. Our oceans will keep warming. And we'll see just more frequent and more intense climate-related events that cause disaster. Professor Hughes, last year was already one of the warmest years on record, despite COVID-19 lockdowns that slow down much of the global economy. What does this say then about our, our progress in the climate crisis? Well, to put it bluntly, we're, we're failing. Uh, we're failing globally. Most countries are failing nationally. The pledges that countries have made to Paris, um, some of them are more ambitious than others. But collectively, we know that even if they're all met on time 100%, uh, we, the world will still head for 2.7 to 3 degrees. Now, since the Paris Agreement, um, things have been accelerating even more. Uh, we've pumping more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, warming is still accelerating. This latest UN report um, shows some very, very frightening predictions. So nobody is doing well enough. Well, to that point, Professor Hughes, almost all regions are likely to become warmer in the next five years. Where are we likely to see the most drastic changes, though? Well, it's hard to say, really. We're seeing changes everywhere. There's no part of the world that's immune. Um, though some countries, such as those low-lying Pacific nations that are really um, vulnerable to sea level rise and storm surge, um, those countries that around the equator that are, that are very vulnerable to tropical cyclones, which are rising in impact and intensity, we're likely to see more Category 6 cyclones occurring. Fire-prone countries countries like Australia, like parts of Europe, like parts of the eastern US and Canada, likely to see more severe bushfires. It's really difficult to locate a country around the world that won't be affected in some way. All right, well, many thanks for speaking to us uh, this evening. We've been speaking with Professor Leslie Hughes from Macquarie University.